So tonight, police make an arrest in a massive fire in Wareham. They say the man who set the fire was trying to kill someone. WBZ's David Roby shows live for us in Wareham tonight with the very latest. Roby. David, neighbors say this home has been abandoned for months after too much storm damage. They say the owner just gave up and moved to Boston. In the meantime, they say that people have been squatting here and doing drugs. That's exactly what police say was happening last Thursday night before this house burned down and a woman almost died inside of it. Mondell Johnson is not only charged with being an arsonist, prosecutors say he tried to kill a woman too. Last Thursday, an abandoned house on Restful Lane went up in flames. Police say Johnson and a woman were inside using drugs. Police claim before he set the house on fire, Johnson savagely beat the woman and tried to leave her there to burn. The defendant proceeded to hit the victim over the head multiple times with a hammer. She remembers getting dizzy and that the defendant started pouring on her head what she believed to be cooking oil. During this time, he proceeded to stomp on her until she passed out. The victim told police she remembers Johnson setting newspapers on fire around her. She managed to get out of the burning home and at 3 in the morning, run to the only house with a light on. She was very hysterical. Carrie Andre took her inside his home. She was bleeding up. Leaning all around and uh, and and didn't have too many clothes on and uh, no no uh, shoes on her feet. So I went to father mode. But the victim refused to call the police and fled while the fire burned on. From the bedroom, the field. Marita Milne lives behind the house that burned down. She said a man who fled the home told her what happened inside. She told me that they beat her bad, and I said, "What do you mean by they?" And then he said, "I should be saying he." And um, he said she was bleeding, um, her head was bleeding bad, and uh, that he clearly did not want her to get out of the house. The victim finally agreed to go to the hospital. She was treated and released for multiple injuries. One witness told police that Johnson bragged to him that he was going to kill the woman, even showed him the hammer. Johnson is being held without bail. He'll appear in court next week for a dangerousness hearing. Live in Wareham, I'm David Robichaud, WBZ News.